This isn't a tool review, that's for sure. So we're gonna make a power scraper. <laughs> or we're gonna try to at least. It, this could be a total bust. <laughs> I'm not claiming that I'm coming up with some brand new idea. One thing I've noted with, with the commercially available power scrapers, they have uh, variable speed and they also have uh, a variable throw, essentially. We've got this, uh, I think they call this a, uh, oh shoot, I forget what they call it. But as this thing spins around, it will move this plate forward and reverse. So what we need to do is we need to make this circle where the pin is adjustable. So if we extend it outward, uh, our throw will increase. And if we move this pin closer to the center of the circle, that's going to shorten our throw because the circle, the pin's going to move around a uh, shorter distance. Well, like I said, man, that, that is rough go. We're going to make this a, uh, a little T-slot. So I'm currently cutting that small profile right there. Just barely see it. You can see it, it, I mean, it looks rough, but we basically just made a T-slot. This piece still needs to be uh, shortened up. Nice, we got our pin. That pin, we're gonna use some red thread locker to uh, seat that thing permanently. And I have two set screws. With all these types of hack jobs, you always have to kind of go back and rework it. This is your guide plate right here, and uh, that's to guide this piece. Okay, it slides right there. We try to shorten up the stroke. We're hitting the, the, this corner right back in there. We're going to hit right there on the side. I hate using these things. They just have an inclination of exploding. <laughs> it's one of those cases where I don't wear safety glasses, I wear a face shield. It's like if you look at them wrong, they'll just explode. Before we wrap this up, this is the last piece that I had to make there. Those are quarter 20 tapped. Uh, just drilled a size for that bolt. That hole there is to line up with that pin. So everything will go together like that. I know the, uh, the commercial grade has a i think it has like a 15 degree angle on it i'm just gonna go with this one for now i still need to braise up the carbide i got a diamond wheel and i've got some uh 12 micron lapping compound as well to kind of really get this thing sharp i made it so it goes like this and the idea is that this section here is gonna go underneath this bar. And that'll provide a little bit more rigidity, at least that's my thought. And of course I can still put this on.
<laughs> yeah. It's awesome when things come together like this. And if I ever need to shorten it up, I can just pull that off. And I got access. <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, first of all, I put a 15 degree uh, bend in it. Uh, that's probably a dumb idea. <laughs> but, uh, oh well. I think I might want to actually shorten this up. I don't really need it to be that long. I could probably go shorter. Might give me a little bit more control. You want to see it work, don't you? I'm still figuring out angle of approach and like holding it. I'm still learning. <laughs> uh, I know I'm going to get ridiculed for the marks I'm making there, but this is fun, man. It's cool. I like this. <laughs> Thanks for watching.